Hi there YouTube, it's Brody from Old School Gamers again. I've been away for a while with my squeaky office chair. Um, I've been a little bit busy. This is a preview of my new app and it does contain flashing images and some images of light nudity. MPOSGRLD based on the Amsterdam Red Light District is a map I was asked to do by a very dear lady friend of mine. And uh, I've tried to make it as authentic as possible with images from Google, from the red light district. Uh, plenty of tunes in there, realistic water as you saw just there, new models. It was quite a refreshing change to actually be able to make a map that wasn't military based. A little bit of John Lee Hooker there, and bedroom time. Tried to make the music in there as related and... Uh, some of it as to what would have been played um, probably more so in the 80s although some of it I believe is still played in their name just kind of mixed it up a little bit and uh, it's not quite finished yet I've got about another three, two to three days maybe a week depending on <coughs> whether I pull my finger out or not it's about 80% finished there will be a sniper version as well that I've already released there'll be an update for that which will be pretty much the same map but all it'll support is TD uh, is deathmatch sorry and it'll be a no pass with a kill 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 trigger in the middle Tactical. Uh, one side of the map you can get into all the buildings from each other and from the roof access a lot of these ladders will be gone, they'll be replaced by stairways like there are in the, uh, in the lap dancing club. Custom models made the FF file the size it is and of course it helped to uh, increase the size of the IWD file as did the sign files. But then once you've got it, you've got it. Um, custom billboards I made there. All the lighting made and edited, of course. All original. The cannabis cafe. <laughs> it was custom HD textures and custom textures for the pictures, images, etc., etc. also. So anyway, I'll leave you to have a look through. And uh, hope you like what you see. Managed to get the dynamic fans casting shadows off of the coloured spotlights in the nightclub. As you can see on the wall there, but I bet you're not looking at the uh, shadows from the fans. The map isn't typically just one half of the map copied and pasted and rotated round to the other side. It's actually mirrored, building for building one side to the other, as opposed to a rotated copy. It's a mirrored copy, and unfortunately. I was foolish enough to copy it across the other side before I checked that everything was done. So I've got all the work to do twice. Pulling it out of prefabs, um, made it originally with prefabs and pulling all the prefabs apart and just setting it all in as, uh, as buildings now. Um, purely because of the fact that they're not, uh, that it's not just sort of, uh, rotated across the other side it's actually mirrored so the buildings on each side are different so I'm gonna pull it all out and deal with it
still a few um, signs to uh, add neon effects to. But that shouldn't be too much of a problem. In fact, it isn't, it's just things that I haven't got round to doing yet. Here comes our car to shoot me. He doesn't realise I'm doing a YouTube recording. main structures there now it's just a matter of uh, detailing and decaling which anybody who's made any maps know exactly how awkward the decal is it takes a while to detail the maps properly I'm going to set some bedrooms up on here, the floor below the nightclub is going to have some pool tables. Hopefully. <laughs> Cheers Carl! Anyway, hope you enjoyed it and uh, I hope you all enjoy it when it's out. Don't forget to subscribe to us and we'll see you all around the service.